Okay, we're at Badwater, uh, Death Valley, and we're in a place, uh, one of the lowest places, well, it is the lowest place in the whole United States, 280 feet, almost 300 feet below sea level. And um, I'm out here photographing now. The best time to photograph texture like these polygons is when there is side light or low angled light. Uh, like we, we got hit right now. Y you know, when the sun is just directly over here, it's not so good. You want to have the side light. So in the morning or in, late in the afternoon. And I have my tripod set up. I'm getting ready to photograph. And this is just kind of some really cool stuff. Now, I'm just going to do a quick 360. And the sun's going to shine in your face. But I'm still going to have a chance to show you what the light looks like. Um, to show all this really wonderful texture. To get good texture and contrast with the shadows like we did in the racetrack, you got to have side light in order to see those divots that those rocks made. And that's why you want to have side light for texture and contrast. Now, I have my tripod set up. I got my camera bag. And it's just kind of some really cool texture out here. There's Mr. Brown. Hello. And it almost looks like we're looking at another planet. Well, it's kind of like another planet out here in Death Valley. And just about as far as you can see, uh, for miles and miles and miles, are they call these polygons. It's salt flats that have been cracked by um, the freezing and thawing that happens, okay? Similar to what is at the Great Salt Lake. We'll get something like this as well. But it's a long ways, and people come from all over the world to see um, this place called Badwater, which there's a place over on the mountain where it says where sea level is, and it's too far away to show right now. But this is really cool texture. Look at this. It's a great stuff to photograph. Look at the, how it rises up because of freezing and thawing. So remember, to get good contrast and to show good texture, you want side light.